I need you to be brave. A man will come and take you away. Hello there. Sir from 17 once again. This is Dexter's Industries. This is the factory compound. So this mission is extremely intimidating when you first get here because it's big, it's impressive, it's cool. But it's tough as well because there's a lot of ways around it, there's a lot of ways to approach it. And some of them, they feel like they're going to work and you try them and they don't. And then other ways feel like sheer insanity, but they somehow work. And I've got a really, really interesting strategy coming up. Which I hope no one's shown so far, or you've not seen, because uh, I thought it was pretty great. I didn't mean for it to work as well as it did, it just kind of happened. Uh, this sequence here, if you get, you can freely walk past these guys when they're staring out, but if you do the jumping animation where 47 kind of gets all cliffhanger on this, like that, they will see you. So you want to be very careful, and that's the only reason I'm being timid here, guys, is the fact that one of these dudes spotted me. Uh, just because the the detection on you know height and different levels is is a little off on this game there's people upstairs that can see you when they shouldn't be able to see you and, and things like that but keep on moving forward what we're going to be doing is as soon as we get up off this bridge and we sneak past the guy on our right here we're going to hit the first checkpoint uh, it's more a technicality than anything because I do not want to climb across that bridge again and uh, the checkpoint is just on the right here next to the fence. There it is. Uh, one strategy I did try here is I tried jumping into the, the toilet in the window there and getting an outfit of a trucker because there was a part of me that thought perhaps a trucker outfit would give you a lot of immunity to walk around this place. The only problem with that strategy is uh, every time I got one of the guys isolated in the toilet and I took him out, a soldier came into the toilet and fucked up the the whole process so I gave it up as a bad job and decided to, to go the way that I wanted to go which is this way and all we're gonna do is we're gonna be sneaking to the f the farthest left of this area all the way over here we're gonna be sneaking past truckers we're gonna be going towards this this territory over here and I tried a couple of different things at this point to see if there were any sneaky way of getting through this area without knocking these guys out and I wanted to just walk, but you'll notice people are seeing through my disguise. There's a guy to my right who's seeing through my disguise. God, I fucking hate the disguise on this game, guys. I really do. But I noticed that this wasn't working, so I went back to my original route, which is when you hop through here, you can walk past the first guy, and then you can distract the second guy. So, because I've taken my time... They're both in a decent position so that they're not going to see me. This guy over here on the left, he will just sit up against that, that, that fence and not do anything. He doesn't do anything. He just chills. So, throw the wrench. That makes him turn around. And this is when I get super brazen and then just walk to where I need to be. Just be aware that the other guy, if he's looking towards you, he's going to get suspicious. All that good stuff. But this is a perfect window of opportunity to walk over here and start mantling up onto the ledges. And one thing I really like about Hitman is a lot of these strategies are reverse engineered. And what I mean by that is I found this ledge by coming the other way. And then when I realized that you could get up this way, I decided to try getting in the base this way and it turned out to be the, you know, the best strategy that I'd found. And every time you see a vent, even if you've been spotted, even if you've got 9 million guys shooting at you, if you see a vent, climb in it, find out where it goes, see if it benefits you to get through the level any easier. Because that is one of the things of this game where you can have an absolute nightmare on a spot, and if you find a vent that completely gets you past it, you want to use that vent. I'm not even too sure why I knocked this guy out. I, I assumed that there was a box in here to hide him or a locker or something. And there is a couple lockers, but you can't interact with them. And the sniper rifle that's in this room, I've already got. So I'm not entirely sure why I do this. I think I'm just on autopilot at this point. I could have just completely ignored him and hit the checkpoint and it would have been cleaner. But it's what I did the first time and I'm one of those type of people that... It's not superstition, but I like to repeat what I did the first time. There's the checkpoint. 
there is a pretty rough transition because I did not get this on my first try. And what's going to be happening is I tried throwing bottles to distract this place, but I got pissed off. So instead, I shoot a pane of glass. Everybody gets super suspicious, but the guard moves away from the door so I can walk past him. And because everybody's in a state of alarm, it actually helps me get through these rooms. So in this room, there's, there's the fat woman and there's a soldier that comes in and tells her he's going for a smoke. And this gets a little hairy here because I'm like, he's going to come in. Oh no, door opens just then, so I just get out of the way of it. He starts having a dialogue. And then he goes back into the room he came from. So why the fuck would you enter to tell that woman? Seems a bit strange. Why would you just not open the door, tell her, and then leave? But it's a path. We'll let him off. When you get in here, if you go up against cover on this sofa, you want to be using the cover-to-cover -cover system. And the reason why I crouch and use cover and hide rather than rely on the disguise is purely because of how bad the disguise mechanic is. This is one of those rooms that, if it worked, you could stealth your way through this quite easily. But because it doesn't, it makes it a lot more difficult than it needs to be. So I just use this, and it makes me feel better about myself. And we're going to be making our way all the way across here, going from mine box to mine box, claymores, all sorts of good stuff, and then round this sofa. And as soon as this guy turns away, you're going to start walking towards the elevator. So watch him, turns away, this is our opportunity, no one on the map is looking our direction, we can come over and call the elevator. And I did not think I would be able to do this without being spotted, but it just goes to show folks, if you try and you find a solution that works, sometimes it's not that difficult, but that is not going to come to you in your first playthrough, because you just it doesn't work that way. You have to struggle to understand the glory of, of such a quick and easy method. But that is the end of Dexter's Industries. Uh, I only get a professional rank, I believe. And, you know, I didn't get spotted. It was almost flawless performances. I wonder if I could get a Silent Assassin if I hit a load of challenges in those missions. It seems to be the only real way to do it. But thanks for watching, and you take care now.